Welcome to Spring Into Storytime. My name is Helen and I work at Milltown Malbay Library. Today I'd like to read you this book called Puffling and the Egg. And this book was written by Erica McGann. Illustrations are by Jerry Daly and was published by the O'Brien Press Dublin. Puffling and the Egg. The sun was shining over Skellig Michael and it was a very windy day. A puffling popped her head out of her burrow. What's this? she cried. You must be lost, little egg. Don't worry, I'll help you get back to your nest. Just then, a gust of wind blew and the egg went rolling down the hill. Oh no, cried the puffling. The puffling spied the egg in a cormorant's nest. I only had three eggs, the cormorant said, and now I've got four. Isn't it marvellous? That's not your egg, the puffling said. It's lost and I must get it back to its nest. Oh dear, the cormorant replied. Then tie this bit of seaweed around it. Maybe that will help. The puffling pulled and pulled the egg up the hill. But then the wind blew and the seaweed slipped out of her wings. Oh no, cried the puffling. She spotted the egg in a rabbit's burrow. My baby bunnies just love their new toy, the rabbit told her. That's not a toy, said the puffling. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh my goodness, said the rabbit. Then maybe this bit of fluff will help keep it warm in the meantime. The puffling pulled and pulled the egg along the path. Then another gust of wind blew and the egg went tumbling down. Oh no, cried the puffling. She found the egg outside a storm petrel's home. It's so windy today, the storm petrel said, but this excellent wind blocker is keeping out the breeze. That's not a wind blocker, the puffling said. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh my, said the storm petrel, then take that path over the grass so it doesn't get caught on the sharp stones. The puffling pulled and pulled the egg over the grass. Suddenly the wind blew and the egg went rolling into the sea. Oh no, cried the puffling. Underwater, she saw the egg dangling on a sunfish's fin. Look at my fin decoration, the sunfish said. It makes me look ever so fancy. That's not a fin decoration, the puffling said. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Golly, said the sunfish, then you should catch it quickly before it floats away. The puffling dived into the sea. Out of nowhere came a strong current and the egg went swirling through the water. Oh no, cried the puffling. She spotted the egg in an octopus's tentacles. This is my new favourite stone, the octopus said. It's so smooth and round, I might keep it forever. That's not a stone, said the puffling. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh dear, said the octopus. Then I'll wrap it up tightly with neat, tidy bows. The puffling swam and swam, pulling the egg. Then a big wave came along. She was tossed and turned and the egg disappeared. Oh no, cried the puffling. She finally found it on a porpoise's tail. This ball is just great, the porpoise said to his friends. We can play with it all day. That's not a ball, said the puffling. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh goodness, said the porpoise. Then I'll bat it back to shore, but you'll have to go fetch it. Be quick. The puffling picked up the egg on the shore. Then she dragged and she hauled and she pushed and she pulled until finally the egg reached the top of the hill. Two puffin neighbours were worried. Their burrow was empty and they couldn't find their egg anywhere. I found an egg, the puffling called out. It rolled down the hill and over the path. It slipped down the grass and into the sea. It swirled in the waves and got bounced back to shore. And now it's back here where it's meant to be. Oh, thank you, puffling, the puffin said. Just then the egg cracked and cracked and cracked and out popped a little round head with fluffy black feathers. Oh, you're a puffling, the puffling said, just like me. Night was falling on Skellig Michael and two pufflings sat safe and warm in their beds. The big puffling peeked her head out of her burrow. I hope tomorrow is a very windy day. Then we can have another adventure. I hope you all enjoyed that story. And here at the back of the book, we have some information on the various birds and animals that Puffling met along the way in her story. So I hope you enjoy it. Bye.